Good luck. Hello, we are Gralio, and we help you make the best software decision first time, every time. My name is Michal, and uh, before co-founding Gralio, I used to work in strategy, product, and commercial functions at top companies. My co-founder, Timon, he's an experienced CTO and a real magician when it comes to software. And Camille is a world-class data scientist. What brought us together was the pain of buying business software. In my previous job uh, as a product manager at a fintech unicorn, I was tasked with selecting a mission-critical loan management system. And the process lasted for four long months, involved around 15 different stakeholders. And at the end of the process, many of us got some extra gray hair. Timon, our CTO, went through about 50 such processes, but his hair still somehow looks fine. But it turns out there are hundreds of thousands of Michaus and Timons in the world. And it takes about 20 weeks to select business software. And despite that, about 2 thirds of buyers still have some sort of buyer's regrets. And that is in a market that's worth $230 billion. And that is SaaS alone, not including on-premises. As AI democratizes software, this problem will only grow. This is our internal map of various uh, business software solutions in various clusters. And with AI, companies and individuals will create even more software. And many, many more dots will be added to this already crowded chart. Now, imagine putting order to this chaos. Imagine a next generation software marketplace where you can find any business software and you can learn about all of its functionality and you learn what company uses what stack. And AI can personalize it for you. You only see relevant information. And people like yourselves can contribute and share their expertise and even be rewarded for it. This vision is only becoming possible now. The internet enabled Expedia and Booking.com. Smartphones with GPS enable, enabled Uber. And LLMs are making it possible to understand software functionalities and user requirements. And so they enabled Gralio. This future is now. Today, we're launching our beta. It's an AI tool that allows you to compare any two software products meaningfully. And it is not a chatbot. It is a familiar site-to-site -site comparison interface. We have over 30,000 products. And we tell you which product is better for you. Easy. However, there is plenty going on behind the scenes. The features for comparison have been selected based on AI and statistical analysis of over 4 million reviews. You can also add features that are specific personally for you, and our AI will evaluate them in real time, and it will give you sources. So go check out gralio.ai, and uh, please reach out uh, if you'd like to build something monumental together. Thank you. Thank you, Michal. Please. Thank you so much for the pitch. Why is G2 not doing this? Uh, they launched their AI assistant called Monty in May 2023, and it's still not usable. Why is that? Um, G2 is very focused on vendors, and it's actually in their business interest to make you jump on their site and not find what you're looking for. Because as you do it, you generate extra data that they can sell. Um, when I was chatting to an ex-product uh, manager from one of the major review sites, uh, and I was trying to get some intel about users, she couldn't tell me who the users are. She kept referring to the vendors. They're not user-centric. Uh, they could maybe do it, but they're not doing it, and they're very slow. 
Thank you, Michel. If you think about retention of your customers, what happens post buying decision of one specific software? Like, how do you make sure your users actually use you on an ongoing basis and that there is more interaction happening post the buying decision? Thank you. It's a, it's a good question, and it's a question where we're, um, uh, we're trying to solve ourselves um, because buying software can be quite transactional. However, with AI, you can actually get like an ongoing assistance with software, and you can get ongoing advice about what's better for you, whether you can save. Like in some countries, for example, UK, you have uh, ongoing utility switching services, whereby it checks every year for you whether there's a cheaper deal and just switches it for you um, uh, automatically. We'd like to do something similar. Cool, cool idea. Uh, could you describe a little how the uh, buying process actually changes? Have you worked with some initial customers? How does it actually change? You describe your horrible experiences with your gray hair. So how does your customers not get the gray hair using your product? Sure. So at the moment, the process involves lots of Googling, lots of reading, trying to distill BS from the truth. With your product? Uh, currently. Uh, the perfect experience with our product, something we're driving towards, is that actually our software gives you the answer automatically before you even know you have a need. We integrate with your systems, we integrate with your, with your accounting, with your other systems, and it knows your needs before you even know it. But before that happens, the journey is that you simply write what you need, where your requirements are, share a few details about your company, are shown a comparison table, you can add, remove features, and then you're given a recommendation that you can trust. So I guess customers first have to pick you before they go and pick their software. So how do you make that happen? Right. So it's essentially a question about marketing and go-to-market. So as we were trying to uh, hype up our launch in the, in the recent months, actually many people reached out to us being like, hey, when are you guys launching? Because I'm trying to find the software and it's tough. A more scalable way is uh, programmatic SEO. Um, so we're sitting on a treasure trove of very unique data, and that allows us to uh, create hundreds of thousands of very relevant tailored pages that can be then found on Google and ChatGPT, actually. All right, anything else? Really quick. What are the key dimensions why they would not go with Sastrify to help you save costs? What are the key dimensions that they pick you? Um, is it cost? Is it personalization? What are the key dimensions? Right. The main thing is just making the right choice uh, and choosing the right software. Um, Sastrify is mainly about saving costs. We're not going in that direction. You have Sastrify, you have Vendor, you have Tropic. Uh, we're not going there. Maybe we'll go there in the future. Maybe we'll partner with those guys. But uh, what we offer is to help you make the right selection and ensure uh, you get the best software possible. All right, thanks for an excellent pitch. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Mikhail. You.